Hello, Peter Buswell for DrDOIP.com with a tech tip on Shortel ECC fun with MySQL. So if you do any uh, custom ECC integrations for CRM or custom applications, you will need to uh, develop an OBDC connector between the ECC and the database that you plan to use for your uh, data dips and for your applications. So normally uh, you would go to start uh, administrative tools, go over here to data sources, and you would go ahead and add a new data source. So if you want to install, let's say, a MySQL OBD connector, you would uh, you would go ahead and do that. If you're paying attention, however, as soon as you clicked on this tab, you should under you sh it's blank. How can it be blank? This is a a real ECC that we're on here, and there's got to be a half a dozen existing connectors between the Shortel MySQL instance that's running on this box and the ECC application itself. So there's something wrong here. And I, I, the purpose of this is to save you some grief here. If you're on a 64-bit box and you go to add a data source through the data source administrator, you're going to have a lot of time wasted. What you need to do is understand that the existing ECC OBDC connectors uh, actually live um, in this directory here on the short tell. They are C Windows, SysWow64, and whatever particular OBDC connector you want to install. Uh, go ahead and you can go there. Or, and if you do, just go ahead and, and build yourself a desktop icon so that you can come in here and click on it in the future. And now when you go to the System DSN tab, you will find all of the existing MySQL connectors. And this is where when you go to add your connector where you want to do it uh, if you expect to have something that works with the ECC. So I've gone ahead here and added, uh, in this case, a, a D-Base driver. So uh, again, just trying to save you a lot of time and grief. The data source administrator for the 32-bit OBDC connectors needed for the Shortel ECC are elsewhere on your server. This will save you a lot of time. Let me show you something else. Uh, any developer is going to have some MySQL tools, or at least an OBDC viewer. So uh, there are a couple of free ones on the net. Uh, I happen to like this uh, Aceta. It's pretty good. You can go ahead and uh, set up a, a data source to uh, the uh, existing Shortel, for example. Yeah, and that's a local machine read-only credentials. That's uh, wrong. And we can go ahead and test that. Connection's fine. We're good to go. And this will uh, actually get you uh, to a place where you can go play with the Actually, I use it for testing my own scripts, but just to show you that it is, in fact, connected to the Shortel. Um, database, we can go ahead and work like that. Some of us uh, like SQL YOG, the community edition is free for download on the uh, web. Just go ahead and Google it. And what you'll notice is that the ECCRO user, now if you're familiar with MySQL, you know that you have to grant a specific user permissions, for example, to create a database. So every uh, MySQL uh, instance you load will, in fact, have the MySQL. It'll have the performance schema, those uh, information schema. Those are uh, standard. This is the Shortel database here. You are free to go ahead and explore the various tables uh, that, that compose the system and um, take a look. But you can't write into this database. You do not have write permissions. You have read only. And so 
Um, not that I'm encouraging anybody to do that, but at the end of the day, if you're going to write a custom CRM integration of any type, you're going to need a database. And one of the challenges you have is that if you try to create a database here, so I say, whoops, I can't do it. The command create database uh, for the user ECCRO. Um, I can't do it. I do not have permission to do it. So at the end of the day, you do not have root permissions on the Shortel MySQL instance. Uh, candidly, from a security perspective, I resent having any uh, computer on my network for which I do not have root permissions. You would think as a security-minded enterprise, you would demand this. But that's the way it is. Cisco won't do it. Shortel won't do it. But at the end of the day, if you want to write a custom uh, application, you're going to have to go to your client and say, hey, I, I know you already have a Shortel PBX, and you already have a Shortel ECC, and you probably have a Shortel IRCC server. Each one has a, a, an instance of MySQL on it, but uh, guess what? We can't use it. We're going to need yet another server, or we're going to have to do something stupid like install a Microsoft Access on here. I'm not even sure. Uh, uh, TAC would support another database running on this server. You certainly don't want to install another instance of MySQL as XAMPP or something like that. So um, you're going to have to go solve that problem some way. I wanted to share with you an observation um, that if you, in fact, right click here and say create new database, as long as you name it test for reasons uh, I have no idea. You can create that database, and you can in f you can in fact go create a new table here. Um, so uh, I have to go in here and create some titles for select the data type but uh, but at the end of the day this is not a MySQL um, it's just uh, it's just a, a demonstration that you can in fact use the existing MySQL database instance on a Shortel ECC server to create your own database you need to <clears throat> for reasons I cannot tell you you have to name a test if you call it test, you can in fact create it. Now I have to caution you, if you call up TAC and ask for support on something you did here, they're going to laugh you out of, the, uh, out of the call center. Additionally, you can't guarantee that future releases of Shortel will in fact have this capability. I can tell you it's been there for as long as I've been working with the product, and I've been working with this product since it was owned by Easy Run. And uh, currently on ECC version 9, I can still get away with this prank. And it, uh, it actually saves a lot of uh, grief. And I don't have to have the account manager go tell the client that they need yet another server uh, to support a database for custom ECC integration. At any rate, I hope you have found this informative. And I thank you for viewing.